The citadel was right in front of them. Loren walked towards the legendary gates of the fortress with pride. The guards at the post jumped in surprise, uh, surprise and announced the arrival of the princess, and more amazingly, the queen. Except neither of them are royalty because they left. The large doors creaked open. So the queen technically never abdicated, though. Like, the queen is still the queen. Well, I... I so, what I got at the beginning is that by leaving, you stop being royalty. That seemed to by, be the rule. By, by willingly leaving. Okay. Um, Loren, Loren abdicated, but mm. the queen never abdicated. Like, because she was, she was arguably kidnapped. Now, when they right. find out that she actually did leave <clears> on purpose. <throat> yeah. The large doors creaked open. Inside the fortress, hundreds of Amazons rushed to form a procession by the entrance, all kneeling to welcome back their royalty. Loren stepped up to the bowing women with the, her hands on her hips. I have returned. Remember that shit you said about abdicating? Fuck all of that. I was told many sons ago that our queen, my mother, had gone missing and that she was dead. I bring her to you now. Karen stepped forward and the entire city seemed to apologize and cheer at once. You can't do that. That's not a thing you can do at the same time, I don't think. I, I feel like there's a deep, like, hip, hip, nationwide I'm sorry awkward. Is, yeah, like, hip, hip, I'm sorry is a very awkward feat, like, everything. Yeah. They all feel really awkward right now. This is not like a, like... Hail Queen Karen. She held out a hand to quiet them. They all looked at her with fear of punishment for leaving her to die. My daughter was very brave in finding me. She has proven great strength and intelligence where I have failed. I was your queen, but I do not feel worthy of this honor any further. Uh, no, 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 um, Karen gestured Loren to be silent. A more fit ruler has presented herself, and I will relinquish my throne to my daughter within the season. The Amazons bowed to Loren. Hail, Princess Loren! Mother, I did not bring you back for this. You are the queen. I'm a weakling, and you are very good at murdering. Curran blinked rapidly and looked away. I will prepare for you... I will prepare you for rule in a se less than a season, mm -hmm. and then you will be queen. It's going to be a sick montage. You saved me, and I am grateful. This is what I want. Laurent gaped at her mother, unable to believe what had just happened. She was interrupted when Breza approached urgently. Princess Loren, a very important guest is waiting for an audience with you. When she could finally tear her eyes from Karen, Karen, she proceeded to process the message. A polymer show is quick for an old man. Fine. Tell him I'd be with him in a moment's time. Loren went with Saren to meet their guests. Even though they had both arrived back home and the mission was complete, Loren had not dismissed his service. Both seemed to ignore it, for fear that bringing it up would definitely put an end to the partnership. They walked into the audience chamber and found two people that neither had been expected. Yeah, she meant to right when she got into the gate... Um, and then, like, she didn't, and then, like, it was sort of, like, too long, and it got awkward, so we, she was hoping that he'd bring it up, and he didn't. Now she, it just feels weird to start. You know that feeling? Yeah. <laughs> Saren was in instantly taken back by the woman's beauty. Could she be, she be a fabled forest sprite? A druid? That would have explained her appearance, and her plant bra. Who are you? Both of the visitors paused when they saw Saren. The elf was particularly sour to see a human and kept his hand on his crossbow, which means elves don't think Amazons are humans either. What the fuck? <laughs> Yet none of them are different species because they can all produce viable offspring by mating together. Okay. Um, uh, with a name like Mirth, it's got to be Mirthful. Mm hmm. I am Elder Druid Mirth. No, no. <laughs> I got through. That's all I wanted was that snort. That's that's the last we need of that voice. <laughs> I am Elder Druid Mirth, and this is my brother. Not to be not to be mentioned again. Note his lack of abs or cleavage. Not a PC. That's just Kiki's voice. 
No, I'm, yeah, no, that's not the voice I was suggesting for. I'm, I got, um... My brain keeps settling on Mark Hamill's Joker. <laughs> that's no, no. <laughs> I can't, I can't keep it up. Um, <clears throat> um... I am Elder Druid Math. This is my brother, Ray. <laughs> Done. Oh, wait, wait. What? She's elvish. Right, of course. Wait. Oh, okay, I, I, I got it. I, it's I, mine. You it's got mine. this one? Yeah, you got, you this got, one? Yeah, all right, all right. Of course, it's an elvish accent. Wait, it's an what elvish was I thinking? Oh, I, like, yeah, she's at least with the elves, whether or not there's any pointy ears under there, secondary. Right. Uh, no, because the, the, the elf is her brother. Right, yes, okay. Um, she's, Except she's a druid and an elf. The she's, rare, the, she's the rare ginger elf. Yeah. Um, yet it's, uh, she is somehow distinct from elf. She's like, you're a druid. You're just, you're a generic elf. Hello, generic elf. Sorry. A druid and an elf. Why are you here? We've never met, but I represent the elven nation. As you've no doubt heard, the empire and the elves are at war now. So you've come to recruit the Amazons to your side? I suppose it's fairly obvious. <laughs> I would not be here if it, at this grim time if it were not very important. I do wish for support, but not the entire Amazons. Just Princess Lorraine. Just me? Why? Glowy sword. <laughs> <laughs> What's hard for outsiders to keep secrets in elven territory? Saren could not <clears throat> take his eyes off the druid. For the moment, the druid met with his eyes and caught him staring. His cheeks started to glow ever so slightly as she began to light him on fire. Heat metal's a bad deal. Yeah. I'm sorry to say you traveled here in vain. I'm not siding with the humans or the elves. Pr princess, important guests have arrived for an audience. More, your friends. <laughs> in through the doors walked, up, walked in a Polima show, and Amukiki not far behind. The druid and her <clears throat> elf... Her, her elf? The possessive? Yeah. Jumped yeah. in shock. As if they had been electrocuted. Agents of the Empire? What is that guy's hand doing? He's still holding his crossbow. Elven witch! <laughs> Apollo Michaud raised his staff to cast an attack spell, but Ray had shot a perfectly aimed bolt, knocking it from the mage's hands. In the next moment, Ray was tackled by Amokiki. While Mirth summoned vines to puncture through the floor tiles and grab a poem show his link. Stop this madness! A Saren ran to the elf and the gladiator to pull them apart. With a sturdy kick of his foot, he shoved the gladiator away from the elf and, how and out of his chokehold. A quick flash of his sword kept the two separated. You will not battle within the citadel. Mirth and a poem show huffed at each other from across the room. Their companions slowly stopped growling at each other and joined the other sides. Okay, so if we have to pick between Apollo Michaud and Mirth, we banish racist grandpa into the abyss. Uh, yes. Into the sea. We just throw him away. Yeah. No. But she can keep his beard if that's necessary. Oh, yeah, totally yeah. fine. Within these walls, no war exists. If you battle, I will eradicate you. Understand? The only kinds of battles we have in the Amazon Citadel are the ones where I murder slaves. Are rap battles. Unless you're we willing to spit some fucking fiery bars, I suggest you sit down. With my apologies, Princess Loren, I was not expecting the enemy. I'm not very good at rapping, and I'm not very good at rapping as well. And I was not expecting... Listen to yourselves. You sound ridiculous. You do not know each other. You don't know how to rap battle. You've already committed to hating one another. These two men have not provoked... Have not proved to be evil and worth killing, and I doubt the druid and her brother are either. Yeah, that took a bit of parsing. <laughs> Then you've not heard the horrible tales of what the Empire does to elves in their hands, or their plot to cleanse the whole world of them. Do, do you allow every aspect of your reasoning to be ruled by fear-mongering and lies? No, really, I'm asking. I just <clears throat> want to see if we can find some common ground. <laughs> I will hear no more of this squabble. This war is your own fault. 
And I'm glad you brought that up. On my trip back to Grimoire... Oh my god, he's got slides. <laughs> I learned something very disturbing. The origins of this war are not what you'd expect. I wonder how you'll put the twist to this to best paint the elves as the villains. Unfortunately, the villains are more intelligent than common elves. There we go. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Ray reached for a bolt to load his crossbow and stop and stop when Loren bared her teeth at him. <laughs> the elves that attacked our town were not elves at all. And I've come to tell you instead of telling my bosses. The elves that attacked your cities. As backwards, humans attacked the forest. Perhaps it is both. Have you considered that? <laughs> Neither of us attacked each other. I had to oversee the burial of over a hundred elves not too long ago, wizard. I'm in no state of mind for your barbs. If you could listen, I right, calm down. <laughs> if you could listen, I would tell you that no elven corpses were found at, after the, their ambush. Only the bodies of goblins! Using my magic? Sorry, using my magic, <laughs> I was able to detect the essence of illusion. Uh, I have, and I have put two and two together. The goblins are mere, the goblins merely looked like elven scouts when they attacked. So that means the humans attacked the forest were goblins too? I'm getting worse at reading. Precisely. The Empire did not investigate the war, instigate the war. <laughs> I was going to say that. <clears throat> not the elves, by that conclusion. I will have to agree. So, if your magic is not mistaken, then only a demon could have organized these attacks. We can all agree that demon racism's fine, right? We can all get behind that? Right, good. I'll, I'll keep going. That magic is restricted to the Everburn Mountains. Somewhere in the swamp. <clears throat> uh, Humbara's like... Never mind. <laughs> demons. It's always demons. Fosterlogger! He is their leader! And I have fought him in the past! There's a prequel that you should really invest in. It's a... oh, and he is beyond ruthless. He is near impossible to kill. My comrades and I had thought we had done so. It appears we are we were wrong. I, wait, sorry. You thought he was dead. You so you think he he's dead, and yet you've immediately concluded this must be him, even though he appears to have no illusion magic. He, he was not. If, if I may. The Lord Sauron was defeated long ago, but it appears his will remains. <clears throat> it gathers Furthermore, the castle in Mordor. Furthermore, the council did not believe me when I presented this revelation to them. They will not believe that the elves did not attack us. They're so thirsty to slaughter us then. I do not want this war, Arch Wizard. I will see it end by any means. I find no glory in this war either. If we can find a means to a truce, then we should do it. I mean, I'm racist, but I don't, like... You know, I think all lives matter, right? God. A brief moment of silence told the Ren that the two of them needed to form an alliance. Or else they would kill each other off for no reason. Saren's gaze bounced between both faction leaders, eager for them to come to the same conclusion. I propose... We just did this scene last week in XCOM 2. I propose? No, the uh, <laughs> the, the two factions who, who find common ground in a common enemy. Mm. I propose we join forces against our true enemy. Apollo Michaud has straightened. He'd been pretty gay before. <laughs> the demons, you mean? Uh, yes, uh, I hadn't thought of that, actually. Oh, could could be dangerous. Then we shall seek peace with our nations. The old wizard was silent for <clears> a long <throat> moment, then reached out her hand toward the druid. She stared at it, then reached out her own. They shook hands with each other, sealing their new alliance. 
Everyone in the room. Elder Druid Mirth is also an NPC. Oh god, yes. Hundred percent. Yes. Oh no. Yeah. Like they they're like, alright, you found your mother, you get her back, safe, and now you've accomplished your, your character goals so the rest of us can play this Dungeons and Dragons game, and the GM is like, and there are more visitors at the door, and there's this scene where I talk to myself and everything happens and they shake hands and everyone is <clears> just watching. Ah, uh, yeah. Dora's player is on her phone. Uh, Ramus's player is looking at Dora's player who's on their phone. Is, is trying to get, like, is trying to friend Dora on Facebook by also... Yeah. All right, all right. So what do you do? What 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 is auto assign tell us to do? Oh, that's a good point. Auto assign says <laughs> will all the way. <clears throat> okay. So all right, you you all oh, right? Because you have magic powers. Hail, water damage, range and all, target all. Fuck yeah. And free, like, maybe freeze everybody? Stinging Swarm. Range all, target all. And make them tired. Smoke Cloud. Fire damage. So it's probably not a lot of damage, but... Earth damage. Slowed. Ca it's, it uses the caster's base attack. Yeah, and what is, uh... Oh, and heals. A gr it's an AoE heal. Sweet. Okay, so yeah, let's... Good. Uh, so that's water damage. We're already doing water damage, are we? We're already doing uh, yeah. water and fire, so. so. What is uh? What's the second one? Uh, air. We don't have any air damage. We don't have any air damage. Let's let's, and that makes them what? Tired. Uh, yes. <clears throat> tired seems good. So uh, yeah, and the damage and the the damage and the uh, condition just scale. Nice. Uh, Tangling Weeds, Earth Damage. We don't have anybody who does Earth Damage now that we've banished Apollo Michaud. Alright, sweet, yep. And then, up, pick another one of those to bump up. Oh, that one's way better. 45% chance of slowed. Slowed, yeah. Well, it's probably a weaker condition, but I like slowed because it makes people go after us. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright. Can re re can elves really work together with the humans? We must try, re. The only other option is to be attacked on two fronts rather than just one. Arch wizard, the sword. Oh, oh yes, Princess Lorenz's sword. The time has come to use it. What 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 are you talking about? I... <laughs> the sword does not need to stand for just. Oh dear, they're blending. The sword does not need to stand just for the Empire. It could stand for our combined forces as well. It doesn't stand for... The sword is dragging me into commitments I haven't made yet. Is that all it will do? I want nothing more to do with it. <clears throat> I'm going to the sword and it glowed. She immediately slammed it against the floor. <laughs> Everyone gasped in horror. Then Wukiki rushed to pick the sword up off the ground and frowned at Loren. You're throwing it away, but it's chosen you. A piece of metal is not going to run my life. If you want it so badly, you can have it. I have plenty of superior weapons here in the Citadel. <clears throat> Seriously, my life here is rad. I'm a motherfucking princess. Queen soon. You will never find a blade stronger than this one. Don't be a fool and throw it away. The world needs you, and you are running away. If our armies are to fight as one, we need not only a fearless leader, but one that would not appear to be biased towards either side. For fuck's sake, will you just get on board with the main plot? <laughs> Your Highness, they need you. That is not my problem. Then we will ask the Queen to lead. Queen Karen is a good substitute. If you refer to my mother as a substitute, once more, it will be the last time you refer to anyone in any manner. Though she cannot wield the sword. Uh, mm. Though technically we've not tried, but... Loren was <clears throat> tense thinking of her mother, th mother taking her place. Could she send her mother to war after just returning, retuning her home? <laughs> this is absurd. You cannot have the queen. That seems like more her decision than yours. Shut up. 
Her knew her mother would take up this role, if only as a means to kill herself. She could not lose her mother to this. Your Majesty. Saren had difficulty bringing Loren's hard stare toward him. <laughs> no, no knock knocks, no knock knocks. <laughs> what happens outside of the Citadel will affect you too. If this war continues, you're letting the world you live in be destroyed and ruined by chaos. Ryan, knock knock. Who's there? Would. Would who? Would you pick up the fucking sword already? Whether you see a human or an elf, your life is as, it, as it is now would not exist if it were not for them. The clothes you wear are made from the silks woven by the elves, and the bread you eat was made by the wheat grown in the Empire's fields. Listen, The I, Empire I, that you'd never visited and barely understood existed before we left for this adventure about two weeks ago. <laughs> we all need one another, or else everything we know and cherish will crumble apart. Ren stared straight in front of her, contemplating his words. Saren prayed he had gotten through to his mistress. Finally, the princess's eyes blinked back into reality and looked at the faces around the room. The demons are asking for a fight, and I shall give it to them. Everyone was more than relieved. The air in the room was significantly lighter. Amukiki, the sword. <clears throat> The warrior looked down at the ember blade and slowly walked up to Loren. She gazed at it warily. Amukiki knelt down and suddenly in front of her, holding up the hilt for her to take. She stared at the sword and finally wrapped her fingers around its handle, lifting it into the air. It glowed. Is this your calling, sword? Uniting these people to slay the demons responsible. I'm sure of it, your highness. But what if it just wants to go to, like, Red Lobster or Burger King or something? It's probably would have picked Dora in that case. She sheathed it and looked over at her servant. We shall see, I suppose. An, his an historical alliance was formed then. The humans and elves joined forces with the Amazons to lead one united army against <clears throat> the enemy who threatened them all. Yeah. After some negotiations, both the Paul and and Mirth were prepared to take steps to convince their individual nations to end the war. And the Citadel was designated as the base of operations due to it being the only neutral fortress in the land. The guests were all treated to a formal Amazon welcome with peacemaking rituals including great feasts, folk songs, and tests of strength. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, so that, that they celebrate Festivus? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. After a few hearty days of bonding, the Amazons had concluded that an alliance could be formed between the three cultures, and even if even the human and elf factions began to put their differences aside, except still a war going on. Well, no, not that, not <clears throat> that. Amazons continue to practice slavery. <laughs> like, yeah, I feel like this is one of those like like oversights that they're like, we need you to solve our problem. So we're going to annoy, uh, ignore your human rights violations hmm. for a while. And then you're going to be an empire too powerful for us to complain about. So we're going to hope you just stop. We might write a strongly worded letter. <laughs> a non-binding resolution. <laughs> yeah. You're very <clears throat> strong for an elf. I believe that was a compliment. All right, you're not bad yourself. For a human. Well, I'm the greatest warrior of all in all of Grimoire. I'm not bad at all. I'm not bad at anything. Anything. Even the greatest warrior can fall from a single arrow. The two stared at each other and then laughed. You're right. I should have the arrows on my side, even if I don't need them. You think brute strength is everything. Prepare to be proved otherwise. They are flirting so hard. Hard. Is that a challenge? I I <laughs> Is that a challenge, assassin? They paused, both sure that they were a superior fighter, and then kissed. Accepted! May the best elf won! Amokiki chuckled, and they fucking fist bumped. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, Ray also joins our party! But 
Wait, where her? Where is abs? All right. Okay. So yeah, he is. So he's the assassin. He is, he is an assassin. Okay. Hits a single target and has a sixty percent chance of permanently lowering lowering their HP by fifty percent. They need to be staggered. Yeah, they need to be staggered, and nobody lives long enough to get healed up to a hundred. Headshot. Uh, yeah. Headshot. And what was the middle one? Uh, this one uh, is a passive resist. Okay. Fine. Uh, fatality. If the stagger is target, it, it's an insta kill. It's a chance for an insta kill. Oh, if they're target. If they're not a boss, it is a chance for an insta kill. Okay, that seems. If they're at half health. Okay, so headshot seems great. Headshot. More, more headshot. Oh, we can just, yeah, we can just. Or even more headshot. Alright. We're good at headshot. Nearby, Draco grinned excitedly and turned toward Ramus, standing idly next to him. He held out his fist towards him. <laughs> well, a best elf when? Ramus just looked at the fire mage. Or dwarf. What? Come on. Let's make a cool challenge pact thingy, too. I actually really like this. <laughs> Draco <laughs> remains the best player at the table. Ramus grumbled <clears throat> and walked away, leaving Draco hanging. He pouted. Well, sucks for you. That's how you were just going to win anyway. No, I win. Draco wins. Ha! Huh. Ha! Uh, don't talk to yourself, Draco. People, uh, people will think things. I am hanging out with a man with a stab me pops in his armor. Everyone thinks I'm crazy. Maybe I'm crazy, hmm? That would explain so much. Be a meanie. Yeah, like, like, Draco and Saren are the people who, like, actually fucking showed up for this game and are, like, awesome. Saren's <clears throat> like, okay, so... I will, I will make this plot happen. Yeah, Lorraine... I will drag everyone kicking and screaming Lorraine, until Lorraine, we have like, fun. Like, Saren, Saren's the GM's best friend and he's just like, alright, no, <clears throat> like, this, I'm cool with playing this game if... If, if Loren is the focus of this game, she's the chosen one, and she gets the sword through the 10-page backstory, cool. I'm her manservant. Yeah, like, I will make this happen. I will, like, smooth the ruffles. And Draco's like, dude, I just want to talk in a funny voice and light shit on fire. Can we do that? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, awesome. <clears throat> like, these are the people that showed up for this game. I'll try not. Be prepared to leave soon. I... Yes, sir. Saren walked up to his mistress, Loran, while she was holding her final audience with a poem of show and mirth. So it's agreed we shall both head back to our capitals to divert attention far away from the Citadel and to convince our nations to put a stop to this bloodshed. Other arguments for the Apollo Show, Sean Connery voice? He says it's Shitadel. Shitadel. <laughs> Yes, I'll help the forest elders and see if, uh, and see how we were so easily fooled. Princess Loren, you must come visit each of us immediately. If everything goes as planned, you'll probably not get killed on the way. Speaking of which, I do not feel the, the Grimoire Council will be so readily convinced that the elves did not attack. I may need your help in convincing them. I believe I know exactly what will convince a council. Fetch quests! I will come visit you both as time allows. Your Highness, all preparations for departure have been made. Oh shit, I guess that means now. <clears throat> oh, Saren, good. Stand in front of me. Yes? Saren, Saren cautiously stepped in front of Lorena, she asked. The princess unsheathed her sword and he tensed. Reasonable reaction? <laughs> she fucking just chops his head off. <laughs> My first degree as High Commander is to promote you to my second in command. Uh, m majesty Yes, it turns out that I actually do recognize your personhood. I thought of it last night after a <laughs> particularly vigorous massage, massage, apologies. And I thought, <sighs> Saren's almost like a person. He has arms and legs and he keeps having these troublesome feelings and he... Uh, 
Oh, that was sudden. Yeah. Was just... Did anyone else just hear that? The, 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 the sudden, as the party ended, your majesty. Neil, sir. You're still going to chop off my head. Wow. That armor looks even more impractical from that art. Yep, that's... Everything, everything about this is amazing. I more and more want to make Saren's armor. <laughs> like, I could make if you, that, if you, if you, but I cannot do enough sit-ups to pull that off. I guess I, I could write, draw I, them all. So, so, I bet if you made Topher or Eric that Saren armor, they would wear it. <laughs> That's true. Like... Without question, he obeyed. The ember blade tapped both of his shoulders, and he looked up at Loren with disbelief. You have proven your worth to me as an advisor, and I will have it known that your commands are to be respected as if they were mine. Thank you, your majesty. My life is yours. The gesture right. was beyond comprehension. Was he no longer a slave? That wasn't explicit. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, <coughs> no, no, no. Oh, oh. no, no, no. I, I said almost. You can put a hat on a dog, but that doesn't... <laughs> Make it a person. Yeah, like, my grandmother's second-in-command was her pony. <laughs> like, shit, we have a long tradition of this. An entire lifetime of being treated as just a lowly servant, and now <clears throat> Saren was given one of the highest honors he could ever obtain. Freedom being the next up the yeah, list. Yeah, the, the one that's just, yeah. just you know, a little... We're in sheath or sword, but it took Saren several more moments to stand together. Excuse me. Oh, look at his soft little smile. Aww. No, he has a feeling. Oh, I'm happy for you. Uh, back to a matter, no token. You need a token of the Empire to pass into Grimoire unharmed. I vote his beard. The old wizard <clears throat> materialized a medallion from his robes and held it out to Loren. She instead nodded for Saren to take it instead. <laughs> This will let you pass into the Empire's lands without much trouble. I assume the rogues and bandits who do not recognize our laws will attack you anyway. That was a wise idea. I shall give you the forest blessing so that those still loyal to the elders will not strike you down. Druid closed her eyes and a glowing flower sprouted it from her palm. She plucked it and handed it over to Saren. Well, these will be useful. Uh, I'll leave to meet with you soon. I must be off right now, but I will leave Amukiki to you, what with his oath and all. And I have convinced Ray to travel with you as well. Farewell and be safe, I suppose. <clears throat> the two faction leaders bowed and left the palace to depart from the Citadel altogether. Commander Breza, uh, now third in command, <laughs> approached Loren and saluted her with a hand over her heart. No, no, she's second in command of... The Amazons. I'm second in command of the, like, combined army. Mm. Separate armies. Your Majesty, the, the Amazons are ready to fight for you. Your allies are strong, and we will no doubt be victorious. But we should not turn down a chance to strengthen our numbers. There may still be more allies to be found hidden around Aragorn. Shaw. Sure. A group of peculiar elves were discovered by our scouts in the Orcish Wastes, if you wish to investigate. They have a strange blue color on their skin. Expansion pack. Uh, no. The expansion pack's all like vampires and shit. Oh, okay. They're not common elves, so be wary, princess. Thank you. You are dismissed. A moonwalk. More allies besides the dwarves who could we recruit to our cause? I can think of no one of value. If I may interject... Yes, Saren, as a person with no value, is there anyone else you can think of? We have encountered several powerful people in our journey that I think would be useful to have on our side. Shah, the monk of uh, from Mount Kronos, was a it's, very... Uh, it's pronounced Shauzer. Shauzer. Shauzer, the monk from Mount Kronos, was a very strong, was a very strong unarmed specialist. He would likely be interested in helping us. There is also the shapeshifter, Kambara. She may not see the po she may not see the point, but I believe we could convince her that even her isolated swamp is in danger. Yes, if the those are excellent <clears throat> ideas. If I have time, I will see about recruiting. Then shall we depart? 
Tomorrow morning at dawn. Be prepared, sir. We have a war to end. Yes, ma'am.